It's Sunday. It gets weird today. It's Tony. It's Dave. Who knows who sits? Who knows who plays? And we got 11 games on the slate. We're going to break it down under five minutes. Dave coming off a tremendous call on the Detroit Tigers. Who the hell plays the Detroit Tigers? They blow up as a sneaky stack. They're all under owned. They're all under value. I love it. Love every minute. We're going to try to do the same exact thing today. So, Dave, we're going to fly through this right here. 11 games just rough off the bat. There's some big money pitchers up there. Who's your ace for today? Yeah, you know, I, I'm a big fan of the third guy down. We did this the other day when we hit Woodruff, but I am actually going to start at the top today, and I'm going to say Scherzer. Uh, Colorado just is not a good team on the road. 19th in batting average, 21st in Woba. It's a team that we tend to attack when there's better pitchers. I think, you know, they got a, a hold of Bassett a little bit, but I think Scherzer comes in, shuts down the door. Um, I like Scherzer a lot at the top. You know, there's value in Verlander, don't get me wrong. Value in Cease, he, even though he got beat up a little bit last start, but for, uh, Scherzer's my one. Yeah, I like Scherzer as well. I mean, listen, against Colorado, I, this is going to be a K brigade for me. So I'm all about the 11 4. What about a, a pump pitcher or a value pitcher, a 1B? Who's the second guy you're looking at? Yeah, I mean, there, there's a few of them out there. Uh, one guy that's been pitching really well of late is Ross Stripling. And looking at that, he gets a kind of cake matchup today against the Los Angeles Angels. Look at his last two outings. Combined 51 DK points, so 25 and a half in those two outings on average. Now he gets the Angels, his season ERA 2.84, whip 1.04. He's just steady as they go. Um, very high potential for Ks today. 13 in his last two, 18 in his last three. So we could easily see six plus Ks today. And I think that gives him a lot of value sitting there at 7,400. Yeah, no, I I like it, and I can't believe I'm going to say this, but for me, I have this jigsaw feeling today that Nick Pavetta is going to go out and pitch a gem for Boston. I, you know, he's coming off a nine K outing. Yep. He, we we know when he gets on fire, he's streaky. We've seen him in Philadelphia, so he's very streaky. And his last two games, twenty nine and twenty two respectively, and he's seventy nine hundred. I have a feeling today could be his day. Now, what about stacks, Dave? Who we got for that? <laughs> you have to, you know, if you heard our show the other day when I said there's a worst pitcher in the league or the worst, yeah. and then I paired him up with, you know, another one. Well, that guy that I rang his name is pitching today, and that's Patrick Corbin. So the Cincinnati Reds are in play. Tony, you had, you know, a good sense when they went against Palo Espino, and they did put up, I think, six runs yesterday. Yep. So I think since he's one of those teams, you know, high, you know, it's funny to say, they hit the ball hard. They don't really string together a lot of hits, but I can see potential for power today in that lineup. India, Farmer, um, some Aquino. So I like the Reds stacking against a very soft matchup in Patrick Corbin. Yeah, listen, I think me and you could go out there and get a couple hits off of business. I could get a knock. Cool, man. Yeah. Uh, that's for <laughs> Dave Short. And on, on that note, I, Ryan is saying thing. I want to stick. I know he had a good game yesterday. Again, this is what I like about the home run props. At least these guys are still being offensively profitable. It's not like we're giving you guys that are giving you no value. India had a decent game. I'm going with him again today. He's going to get... One of these days, I'm not going away from. It. I'm going to ride Jonathan India again today uh, for the home run prop. He's plus four twenty five, so really good value against Patrick Corbin going to righty versus lefty matchup. I just think that Corbin just lays a lot of plate, a lot of balls over the plate, so a lot of home runs to me in that game. Now, Dave, what about you? You got to uh, do your first home run prop here. Yeah, my first one, I'm going back to South Jersey, and that's Mike Trout. He's finally back, gets a very favorable matchup today. You know, I talked about Raw Stripling having a potential for a big game. Well, he'll have it against eight other batters because this one, Trout just owns him. Seven for 11, three career home runs off Stripling. I think, you know, we got a really high leverage situation, a sweet spot per se. I'll take Trout as a home run prop today. I, I like that going going South Jersey's finest and and we'll just continue on this trail before we get to a sneaky stack and anything else uh, because I got a little jigsaw crazy bet at the end but for my second prop I you know not as you know sneaky but I'm gonna go Rafael Devers at plus three fifty against. Corey Kluber, who's given up a home run for the last five games in a row. He 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 tends to leave balls out over the plate at this stage of his career. Decent pitcher, obviously, but I think Devers, who hasn't hit a home run since August 14th, is due today. Now, Dave, before we get to your second home run prop, do you, do we have yesterday you killed it with Detroit? Uh, do we have a sneaky stack that we should look at today? Yeah, I mean, there are, you know. I would think Detroit's slightly back in play again today. But if I'm looking truly sneaky, 
Um, I think there is a chance for San Fran to have some value. We've looked at the, the Sanchez brothers. This <laughs> I'm not even sure they're brothers, but Aaron Sanchez going for the Twins today. Um, really bad ERA. San Fran off yesterday didn't hit the Twins, but the day before they did. Sanchez 7.36 ERA, almost a two whip. Um, there's some potential for some guys in that lineup. You know, a, I I like a, a handful of them. Um, you know, at the top, he's been in and out. Lamonte Wade, when he leads off, I like him. But there, there's some good bats, and you can get them from cheap in the Giants lineup. They're always good, profitable bats. Like guys like Brandon Crawford, who can always mm -hmm. give you a multi-hit game at any time. Uh, Yaz is a great guy from the left. who yeah, He's hit or miss, but he's always low-owned and undervalued. So definitely a good call right there. But how about that second home run prop you got? Yeah, I mean, I had to go up and down. I mean, I you know, I know Marquez is pitching. He lets up a lot of bombs, yep. but that's on the road. And I, I like uh, even Odorizzi's let up five uh, in three starts with the Braves. But I'm going to switch gears, and I'm actually going to go out to Milwaukee. You got a guy in Eric Lauer that's let up 23 home runs this year. And then you got a guy in Ian Happ who's hit five in this past two weeks. I'm going to go Ian Happ as my second one today. Lauer, you know, a tough lefty. He's pitched the Dodgers against the Dodgers last couple of times out and kind of neutralized and pitched okay. Um, but I think his home run ball is real. I think he throws a flat ball, and I think it's it's time to expose that today. So I'll take Happ, Ian Happ. I like Hap. Hap hit for me twice already this year. So. I remember the uh, Nats. I think it was it against the Nats one game. I think it I might have been. I think yeah. it might have been. So I, yep. I I love it. I mean, he's hit, he's been good for me. He's been good for Adam. We've been very profitable with Ian Half. So let's go for the trifecta here. And before I give you the jigsaw crazy bet, let's just say, you know, make sure you're following Wind Daily Sports. I, you know, I, obviously, you know, you're following this page, you're subscribing. But listen, we got a lot of good things going on. We got a prop model coming out for prize picks exclusively uh, for NFL season, man. We have so many prop models you got to check it out we got the home run projection model as always obviously ghost does a great job make sure you're getting in a win daily you can either get one month free with the code win daily 22 or we're starting a all new 5.99 a week where else can you get a gold membership for 5.99 a week hey, listen you just can't break it we're we're breaking down walls here at win daily sports so i'm gonna go a little jigsaw crazy dave and you know, listen, it's Sunday. It's humid. I keep telling everybody balls fly out of the bank. They just fly mm -hmm. out of Citizens Bank Park. It's what they do. And I know everybody's going to jump on a Schwarber wagon and Harper. And I, I, I fully expect one of those guys to go deep today. But I'm going to go with my man Gene Segura at plus 700. OK, mm. Gene Segura has since he's come back from injury is really hitting the ball hard. He wants to be in a playoffs. He's never had a postseason game in his career and he's happy. He's jubilant. He's batting eighth. Yeah, Gene Segura bat eighth, which means he's going <laughs> to get good pitches to hit because they know that Swarbs is only a batter away after that nine spot. So I'm telling you right now today for me. Plus 700, Gene Segura. That's going to be three home run bets, three home run props we're throwing out there. Plus I love answer. it. That's five. Okay, that's five. I, so He you know hit I mean? one last Sunday. So, I mean, you know, I think he's a Sunday hitter, too. So, let's go. I love let's it. Let's go, man. And I'll give let's you one go. crazy one. It, it, yeah. You know, not many teams attack the Dodgers, but I really love this kid, Edwin Cabrera, for the Marlins today. His outs prop is only 15 and a half, and it's plus money on it. So, the books don't think he's going to go deep against the Dodgers. He went eight in his last outing. I think he's got a chance. Like, they're going to, as long as he's, you know, consistent and not getting blown up, he's getting that six innings. So, over 15 and a half outs, plus 115, take a chance on Edwin Cabrera today. There you go, baby. Plus money. That's how we end this show. Yes. Plus yes. money bets, right? Plus money bets. Win Daily Sports. It's Tony Cotillo. It's Dave Glockner. Again, as always, have a great Sunday. Be safe, be healthy, and be profitable.